Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I'd like to show you how to make this fun little Rhino Ready card. This is one of our new online exclusive uh, products at stampinup.com. You can't find it in a catalog. It's only available online and I love it. It's just so adorable. All right, we're going to start with our Rhino and I'm stamping him in stays on black because we're going to color him with a watercolor pencil. I have several other Rhino Ready projects on my blog and each one I've colored a little bit differently. So if you're looking for different ideas, make sure you check it out um, and give some of those coloring techniques a try. All right, we're gonna stamp our rhinoceros in stays on black on watercolor paper. And we're gonna color with our watercolor pencils. And I've got basic gray here and Daffodil Delight and my water painter. The first thing I'm gonna do is come in with my pencil and add some color. And we're gonna take the water and add the water on here. And it's gonna really move that color around Uh, and make it more um, pliable, maybe that's the word I'm looking for. We want it to just kind of become movable. See how the water turns it into that liquid and, it, and then you have like paint um, or watercolor ink and the, the color will also get rid of any pencil marks that you have. And the more water you add, the more movable that ink is going to become and you can also dab off with a paper towel that will remove color see now if I add more water it's going to get lighter I also may have just added a little bit too much we don't want it to go outside the lines but if that happens no worries because we're going to die cut it all right fill all that in and then we're going to give it some time to dry All right, now I'm gonna take my Daffodil Delight, fill in our little bird, and make sure all your gray is off of your water painter, and then just add a little bit there, like that. All right, I'm gonna let him dry. We're gonna add some more here in a little bit, but we need to give him some time to dry. All right, so we're gonna create this desert Saharan sunset background. That was what I was going for. And I, I pulled several, lots of different colors. My first piece is going to be Highland Heather. That's going to be that piece way in the back. And then we're going to we're going to do Gorgeous Grape. And I'm going to take my paper, my strips. These are about an inch and a half, and I'm going to tear them. And I'm going to start adding them. So I've got Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, and then we've got Pumpkin Pie. And you want the the edges to be up and down kind of hilly and you want them to all be a little bit different so try to tear them a little bit differently as you go this is mango melody a color that is retiring at the end of april i'm very sad this is one of my favorite colors then we've got um crushed curry a color i thought would retire but it's not and last but not least, we've got Daffodil Delight. All right, so we're gonna layer all that and then we're gonna cut it back down to that size, okay? I'm gonna start with my gorgeous grape. And I'll put that about that far down. And then we've got our pumpkin pie. Whoops, let's get those out of here. Then we've got Mango Melody. And let's see if I can get my adhesive to behave. Crushed Curry. And last but not least, that Bright and Cherry Daffodil Delight. 
Okay, so now we wanna cut it back down to this size. So I'm gonna grab my trimmer and I'm just gonna lay that up so that that edge is right there in the gutter and I'm gonna trim it all off. And if I don't get close enough, I can move in just a little bit. Okay, let's do this one. There we go. And there we go. Now I still didn't get close enough over here, but we're gonna add a frame. And I think that frame will cover up any of those edges. I've cut a Knight of Navy frame with one of our dies, and we're gonna add that on right there. I'm gonna very carefully add some glue, liquid glue, very lightly around the edges. And then we're gonna lay that down like that. Okay, now ahead of time, I have cut out some tree tops, one of the little hills, and two trees from Basic Black, because I wanted all this to kind of be in silhouette. I'm gonna start here with the hill, the, the, the land, the dirt, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna add that in coming from behind, if I can get it to pull up a little bit. Coming from behind, there we go, the Daffodil Delight. Well, I must have put that adhesive pretty high there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, my trees, I put adhesive sheets on the back. Um, I put adhesive sheets on my cardstock before I cut the trees. That way, if my fingers will work, I've turned them into a sticker. You know, let me just get that. That makes it a lot easier when you use your take your pick tool. All right, so this just turns it into a sticker. We don't have to worry about that glue squeezing out into places that we don't want it. All right, we're gonna put that one there. And this one, it looks like I only got adhesive on part of it, but I think that'll be enough. And we'll put this one down here. All right, and then we've got our tree tops, which we will add with dimensionals. Got one up here. And one right here. All right, now let's do our sentiment, still giving our rhino some time to dry. I'm gonna stamp this sentiment in Versamark on basic black, and I'm gonna heat emboss it with white embossing powder. Oh, wrong ink, wrong ink. Let's clean that off. They both look, they both are black. All right, it's a great day. I'm gonna kinda of do it towards this side. I've given myself a lot of space to trim in case, oh, I lost my spoon, in case I don't stamp it straight. There we go. All right. Boy, I'm just making mess after mess today. Okay. So now we don't have to worry about that. We're trimming all that off. Grab your heat tool and hit it with the heat tool until it's nice and shiny. Now bring back that trimmer and let's cut this down to a strip. And then we'll turn it this way. And there we go. It's a great day. Okay, we're gonna put this right across the bottom. Like that. And I'll just use my scissors 
to snip that off. All right, now I have a Knight of Navy card base. And we've got a few little straggler pieces, what we don't want. And we'll add that right to the center. Now, our star of the show is still missing, so we got to finish him up. Let's bring him back over. I think he's dry. I'm going to take my, um, my, what am I trying to say, pencil, and I'm going to add some color, a little bit darker than everything else, on these details, okay? So his tail, his horn, and the little toenails. Oh, and he's got some little some little hairs right here. All right, let's cut him out with the matching die. This die set has some fantastic dies. We have those trees that we use. We've got a party hat, the birds, just everything has a die. The little grass. You've got some uh, different uh, rhinoceroses you can cut out. It's a great set. Lots of dies. And <laughs> I think that's the third thing to hit the floor since I started this video. My goodness. Maybe I need to go take a nap. All right. And we're going to put him right there. And there you have it. A fun card. This could be a birthday. This could be really anything with that sentiment. All right. If you have questions, let me know. Click the link here on YouTube to go over to my blog and see my other Rhino Ready projects. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.